From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. The City of Brookings and St. Timothy's Episcopal Church met in federal court on February 15th. According to St. Timothy's sister Cora Rose, who is an attorney, counsel for the city, the church, and the U.S. Department of Justice appeared for oral arguments at the James A. Redden Courthouse in Medford. All of this has to do with what the City of Brookings considers to be legal with regard to St. Timothy's activities in the community. The city recently changed its municipal code and says, as a result, St. Tim's is operating against city law and has threatened to fine the church up to $720 a day for what it calls violations. So St. Tim's, backed by the Episcopal Diocese of Oregon, filed suit against the city of Brookings, citing First Amendment religious freedom rights. The judge in this case has three motions to consider. Each of the parties has asked for summary judgment for the judge to rule on the law in their favor. And the city of Brookings is also asking the judge to simply dismiss the case without trial. If the judge grants any of these motions in their entirety, the case will end and the city's ordinance will either be legal or it will have been found to improperly infringe on St. Timothy's First Amendment guarantee of religious freedom. Well, the judge may also grant partial summary judgment, meaning that certain claims by St. Tim's or by the city of Brookings are established and they don't need to be proven at trial. A third possibility would be that the judge denies all three motions, and if that happens, then the case heads towards trial. Now, it's important to note that all of this has put a dent in the city's pocketbook. The city has already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees, and there's no telling how much the final cost will be. This, of course, is an ongoing story, and KCIW will continue to bring updates as they occur. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.